Hey guys! Hey guys, what's up? So if you liked our video about Mexico City, we want to try to do a video every time we travel somewhere to give you like five tips about what to do while you're there or things that we learned. So these are five tips about Mexico City. And we're having a little wine just to, you know, chill. So. It's Friday night. So here's your five tips. First one, let's talk about cash. So how much cash should you carry and how, where can you get cash? We mostly use, use credit cards that don't have a foreign transaction fee, but it's good to keep a little bit of cash because you never know there's always a place that doesn't accept credit cards or, you know, there's also times that you need to tip. Um, it's good to have like about 30 US dollars a day. And honestly, that's probably too much. And if you're gonna get pesos, if you go to your hotel and ask for directions to a place where you can exchange, you can do that. You can also do it at the airport. Um, just be aware that some places will require you to have identification and some of them require you to have the passport. Now, we don't recommend you to carry your passport when you're traveling. You only need the passport at the airport. So leave it in the hotel room, like in a safe or something. Yeah, don't carry it with you. Maybe carry a copy of it, but don't carry it just to get cash. Tip number two about transportation. We just take Uber everywhere. Yeah, in Mexico City, Uber is getting popular. It's super cheap. For there's also regular taxi drivers, and there's also a metro. We didn't get to explore the metro. We hope to do that in the future. All right. Tip number three, let's talk about food, eating and drinking. There's two things that you should not do when you're in Mexico City when it comes to eating and drinking. And number one is drinking the water, like tap water. You wanna make sure you get bottled water. Another suggestion, and this is pretty obvious, but just avoid raw foods, especially if you're gonna eat something like sushi or like raw tuna. Doesn't matter how expensive or fancy it is or how good it looks, just don't do it. So yeah, don't drink, don't drink the tap water and we don't recommend you eating raw food like sushi because we've gotten sick from both of them. It's not a pretty plane ride home. Tip number four, let's talk about safety and your outfit. A lot of people get worried about Mexico City. They're like, oh, why would you go to Mexico City? It's so dangerous, but it's really not. And especially if you're being smart about what you do. Um, you don't need to come dressed in the fanciest clothes that you have. Like I don't wear, you know, the nicest things I can find because you really won't fit in anyway because a lot of people just wear clothes like this. You know, you don't want to draw a lot of attention. There's going to be a lot of people, especially if you're in the city. There's going to be a lot of people everywhere. Um, you don't want to be that focal point or that center of attention. Another thing, you got to make sure that you stay in the busy areas when you're walking around. And by busy areas, we mean the tourist areas, like tourist areas that are usually crowded with lots of people. You don't want to be stranded or just wandering around a place that you know could be dangerous. Tip number five is about the airport. So I've been to Mexico airport quite a few times and you can get a little confused because it's really big and there's two terminals and they're not really close to each other. Uh, terminal two is pretty much all Aeromexico. If you're not flying with them, you're probably in terminal one. So JetBlue, terminal one. Um, Mexican airlines like Interjet or Polaris they have a section for domestic and international departures. So one time we were taking an interjet flight from Mexico to Costa Rica and we got dropped off of the domestic section because we didn't know there was a difference. And it's a really long walk to get to the international side. So make sure you let your driver know that you need international departures if you're taking a Mexican airline like Interjet or Valeria. And obviously JetBlue only flies international, so you'd be good. I don't know, I just follow you. All right, so that's all of our tips from Mexico City. We hope you enjoyed them and they were helpful. If you have any questions that we didn't cover, make sure you put them in the comments. We'll be happy to make another video or just respond to your comments. Thank you for watching and good job on researching and planning your trip. So see you in our next video to the Bahamas. Costa Rica from Mexico, international, but they dropped us off at the domestic section and it's a really long walk. That's the wine. Okay, so we should probably redo that. No, that's funny. Let's keep it.